Stanford will hop right back at it. Texas in the team race for second. No Longhorns in this final. And Stanford has the top seed, Reagan Smith, world champion in the 200 backstroke back in 2019. And again, Olympic silver medalist in the 200 fly. Uh, she looked very good this morning, Rowdy. Yeah, she really looked so easy with that 149 low. And this is going to be one heck of a field. You've got Ryan White in there, another Olympian. The top five finishers from last year. White was second last year. All returned to this race. And he got the defending NCAA champion, Phoebe Bacon, who swam 148-32 to win the championship last year. She was ninth in the 100 back. She qualified in third this morning behind the swims of Smith and Isabel Stadden of Cal, who is another one to keep an eye on here. So pick your poison in the middle of the pool. You have Bacon in three, Smith in four, Stadden in five. Then you go up to seven for Ryan White, a two-time second-place finisher last year at NCAAs. There is Stadden, another one of those teenagers in this field, only 19 years old. And White, the uh, veteran of the group, 22 years old, and an Alabama senior. She's been world champion before, but never an NCAA champion individually. Boy, what a way for her to go out in her career with an individual champion. I mean, top five from last year. That's rare. You see three, four maybe returning, but top five and six of seven. And then you throw in a world champion in Reagan Smith into the mix as well. And that's the group you got here in this final again. The champ last year was Bacon. White was second. Staten was third. Reagan Smith right in the middle of all of them. Reagan Smith, the fastest in history in this event. Fastest in history in the 200 meter backstroke. Certainly the favorite here, but this is not going to be easy. Important points on the line for Stanford, two in this final with Smith and Lucy Nordman. Take your mark. Three of the eight fastest, by the way, in history are in here. White and Bacon are the other two. All of them have been 148 or better. Right, that was a great start for Reagan Smith. Yeah, Reagan Smith, you might remember the very first night she missed her turn in the 200 medley relay, slipped off the turn, but has bounced back in a big way. She's got a tough double tonight. She's got this, the 200 backstroke, and then a little bit later on, she's got the 200 butterfly. And she has slipped behind both Staten in five and Bacon in three. Bacon trying to make it back-to-back -back wins for Wisconsin to start night four. Those two still your top two. That is Smith, White, and Tiltman of Virginia all in contention. I really like the way Staden's looking. She's just a sophomore, but looking really strong there the first 152 plus on the way out. Staden was seventh in the 100 yard backstroke last night. Here comes that back half strength though from Phoebe Bacon making a surge. And then look it up but they're on lane seven, that's Ryan White. White up in seven out there sw swimming well. Reagan Smith has made a move now. Smith in contention. It is White with 50 yards to go out in front at 120-61. Ryan White is doing a great job up there in seven. She was 27-7 faster than anybody else except for Reagan Smith. And now Reagan Smith is coming. It is Smith and White heading to the final turn. And Reagan Smith turns first. What a 25 there for Reagan Smith. And look at that turn. She has won world championships and Olympic medals. Reagan Smith on her way to her first individual NCAA championship. She does it in 147.76. What a close. What a race. Ah, oh, you're so right, Bill. What a close, but what a race. Ryan White made a run at it. She ended up finishing third. Bacon came back to finish second by seven one hundredths of a second. Here's the halfway point. There's Ryan White. She said, I want to go out in style. Reagan Smith, though, hanging in there. Not, never, never let them get away.
That's a sign of a champion right there. You never let anybody get away. And here's the last turn. You don't even have to circle Reagan Smith because look at the tempo, look at the energy and the momentum she had going into that wall. Unbelievable. 147, seven. Already the third here in the 100 back. Now a win in the 200 back. And you mentioned the 200 fly still to come tonight for Reagan Smith. Could be a very impressive NCAA championship debut. And Stanford gets a first, an eighth, and a ninth with Nordman here finishing eighth. And then Ruck winning the B final. So 40 points for Stanford. Texas shut out and Stanford will go way back on top for second. After her first individual NCAA championship, Reagan Smith's with Elizabeth. Reagan Smith, national champion. You can add that to your long list of accomplishments on your resume. It's not easy being you. You have a lot of pressure to perform being Reagan Smith. How do you handle that pressure and hold your composure through the race and just come home on a very hard last 50? It's definitely hard sometimes, and it's um, something I've been struggling with a little bit recently. Um, but I'm really thankful to have such a great team behind me, and they just always have my back. And I know they're proud of me no matter what, so when I know that, I, I just go out there and do what I know how to do. This being your first NCAA championships and having been to world championships and the Olympics before, how does this add up and measure up to all of the other meets that you've been to? Um, people told me that NCs is just different, and I didn't know what that really meant until I got here. And I don't even know how to describe it, but this meet has definitely been different than any meet I've ever been to ever before, but it's been so much fun too. Well, enjoy this moment, Reagan. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Part one of a double complete for Reagan Smith. One match.